Apache Druid, I assume that most of you are familiar with the tool, that most of you have seen those bullets before. I just go through them very quickly if you've seen them for those who are new. So Apache Druid is a column-oriented distributed data store. It enables the ingestion of high high volumes of event data. It gets high performance of slice and dice analytics and it supports low latency queries. And this tool is actually very commonly used in BI. Uh, as I already mentioned, we use Druid for real time. Uh, our services write events to Kafka. And since Druid has great integration with, with Kafka, so we send our real-time data to Druid, and we also use Pivot for visualization and for analytics. Uh, the, our architecture for real-time analytics looks like this. On the left side, we have our initial um, raw data in Kafka. This is the Kafka topic where our services write to. Then we have Spark streaming job that processes these events, adds more data and reaches every event, and writes events to another Kafka topic in JSON format enriched with enriched uh, data. And now this Kafka topic uh, actually goes to Druid. We have, be, we have uh, built several use cases using this uh, architecture. We have uh, clicks. We, we brought click events to Druid and impressions and other types of events. And um, it's actually totally separate use cases. Like there is a separate data source in Druid for every type of event. And we have separate data cubes in Pivot. So we kind of, uh, we could build a dashboard in Pivot and put those events like side by side, but it's nice, but it's not good enough. We were looking for some a uh, more powerful uh, data model to get more, more insights in our real-time data in, uh, in Druid. So we have built a more complicated use case, a more complicated data model. We call it real-time event. And the, actually, this is the union of, may, of several types of events that we bring to Druid. Let's take a look how it, how it works. So uh, as usually in our case, uh, it starts with Kafka topics. Uh, so again, we have uh, many, uh, we have Kafka topics per types of event, like we have clicks, impressions, requests, video events, and many others. And uh, similar to the previous architecture, we also have a Spark stream. But now uh, this Spark streaming jobs write output event to the same Kafka topic. So now this Kafka topic, the real time event right here, it contains the union of several types of events. And uh, therefore the, the, the Druid, the data source in Druid also contains the union uh, of several types of events, all types of events in one place. 